Hello, everyone. Welcome to Make the Big Future. I'm your host, Brian Wong. Today, I'm going to correct the big mistakes that Johnny Harris makes about uh, China invading Taiwan. Johnny Harris is a journalist, um, popular YouTuber, had six, over 6 million views about his video about how he thinks an invasion of Taiwan by China would unfold. And he is very wrong. So Johnny Harris's version of the start of World War III would be that China threatens and blockades Taiwan and failed negotiations to, for Ch Taiwan to surrender. Uh, China, China law that uh, Taiwan must be reunified. Um, step two would be China would uh, launch air and missile attacks and then China would storm the beaches. Um, the US would be indecisive in all this and only respond when China hits the beaches. So that's what Johnny Harris research says, you know, how he thinks this would unfold. So why do I want to get this right? We don't have leaders in China, the US, and the world having mistaken beliefs, thinking some of the stuff that uh, Johnny and other military analysts have. So China needs to know that this would be a messy loss for them and be messy for the world, but China would lose and lose badly. Um, Russia had mistaken beliefs, and Putin had mistaken beliefs about Ukraine, <clears throat> and this is leading them into a messy loss for them and a loss for the world. So we want to get this right. So first thing is, Taiwan Semiconductor. Taiwan has Taiwan Semiconductor. People you don't know, it's a half trillion to a trillion dollar company that makes most of the world's advanced chips. Chips, semiconductor chips are the new oil of the world. They, they drive the world economy. Taiwan Semiconductor makes 80% of the leading edge chips. All the best chips, 80% of them come from Taiwan Semiconductor. Apple, Qualcomm, Samsung. Samsung makes the chips for Google. Um, the, the Tenther chips, AMD gets a bunch of chips, NVIDIA, all big tech companies, which make up about 50% uh, of the NASDAQ index. So once there's any disruption, not even just you know, wrecking the, the fab, something like that, any disruption in the chips, <clears throat> big cr crash in big tech. And, and t big tech is also 30% of the S&P index. So... 50% once the blockades start, even worse if you have um, hitting the ports and, and, and other infrastructure and, and other uh, military war. The old chip shortage, people know that there's been a chip shortage with um, car chips. Those are old 20 year old fab chips that um, are a tiny fraction of the chip industry. Okay, but they were critical for the car industry and it cost the world economy a trillion dollars over the last two years. $240 billion per year for two years for the US and it's still ongoing. So it's over a trillion dollars, 10% to share values from anything when they have the, the, the chip problems. So TSMC, the advanced chips are like 10 times more important than this, okay? So once anything happens, starting the blockade, even before attacking, starting the blockade, trying to do stuff, Apple stock tanks a bunch, 20%, 50% on, on the whiff of this might start happening. Tim Cook, big tech, and Wall Street would call the president and key senators. And then the U.S. Navy would then, would then immediately roll. Okay? It doesn't matter who the president is. It doesn't matter how weak that president is. Um, the, the big tech companies, the leaders, and the, and the big finance companies, Wall Street companies, and you, because your 401k would be just cut in half, okay? You wouldn't be like, oh, I'm not sure if we want to fight for anything. You're losing your retirement, okay? So you would fight for Taiwan, okay? Because the Taiwan Semiconductor. By the way, if, if you uh, like the, the information I'm giving you, please uh, like and subscribe, it helps with the algorithm, and then please support me on Patreon and Twitter, okay? So another big mistake is the air attack phase would last months, okay? Russia has been fighting for, for three, four months in, um, in Ukraine. They have not gotten air superiority yet, okay? And Ukraine is easier in terms of their gains at their air defenses than Taiwan. Taiwan is 60% mountains. In this little, little picture, you can see that their uh, planes are underneath certain protection. There's other things where they have things built into the mountains for their air bases, where you got like a, a, a bunker built, cut into the mountains. Okay, same for the missile defenses and other things. Okay, you can't fire a missile through rock. Okay, you know, a nuclear bomb, oh, it makes a big crater. But it took a nuclear bomb 
10 megatons, something like that, to make that big crater, okay? If you hit a you know, boba big bomb on dirt, it doesn't get much into the dirt, okay? And that's why hitting stuff in the mountains is so difficult, okay? You can pound it, pound it, pound it all you want. You're only going through, a few, you know, a few feet, move a few feet of stuff. You can, if you're dug in the mountain, you could be have 50, 100 feet of, of rock and dirt, okay? Missiles aren't going through that, especially one ton of, um, of high explosive, okay? One ton of high explosive can wreck a plane, it, you know, does nothing to dirt, okay? China's planes, 80% of them, of the mo air quotes modernized planes are copies of Russian planes. They bought a dozen or so uh, Russian uh, Su-27s and they made 600 J-11s and you know, 200 J-16s like that. So most of their modern plane are copies of, 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 of Russian planes, okay? Russian planes are second rate. We're seeing that in the Ukraine war. They're being shot down by the bushel. Um, they're vulnerable to American Stingers missiles. The hand, uh, the hand launched um, Stinger missiles cost about um, 100 grand each, okay? And there's thousands of them all over, all over Ukraine. <clears throat> the US would supply those in, in, in massive numbers uh, to Taiwan. They already have a bunch. Taiwan also has um, their own uh, anti-air missiles as well. But the thing is, the, the Chinese planes are crappy copies of crappy Russian planes, okay? And when China makes their own planes, they use third-rate engines. The uh, Russian engines are second-rate, inferior to the U.S., and China's airplane engines are inferior to the Russian engines, okay? Second-rate planes with third-rate engines. Okay, and the pilots are also crappy. Okay, um, we're finding this out with, with Russia attacking Ukraine. One of the problems is that their pilot, the Russian pilots, only had 100 hours per year of training. Not enough, you know, enough to fly the plane, but not enough to do any advanced stuff. Okay, where you have like one plane flying in, active decoy for another plane to, to, so they can attack a missile um, um, battery. Okay, China's pilots are just as crappy as Russian pilots. So crappy Russian copies of Russian planes, crappy pilots, okay? Ukraine is mostly flat. Taiwan is 60% mountain, tougher to attack into the mountains, okay? Way, way tougher. China had the fastest runway repair record. They, they repaired in three hours, okay? Faster even than the Israelis, okay? So when you hit the, you can hit, oh, we hit the um, runways, that will stop the mocking planes? No, they can repair them super fast, okay? And China has about 400 fighter jets to defend their island. Yes, it's less than the 800 or 1,000 modern uh, Chinese planes, but a significant num number. It would take time to defeat them, okay? Ukraine has far fewer planes than Taiwan does, and it's taking Russia a long time, and they're not getting air superiority. So it would take months. In the meantime, What's happening? Taiwan Semiconductor stock is continuing to crash, okay? And the global big tech industry is a mess. You're not getting your new iPhone, okay? You're not getting your new iMac, okay? Um, you're not getting NVIDIA gaming cards Why? because the chips aren't coming out, okay? So that's what's happening during this month-long air war, okay? So, and of course, Tim Cook already told the, the, the US Navy to roll, okay? So, the, so China's not getting a free ride on this thing not only are weapons going to, to Taiwan, but the Navy is, will be coming to help, okay? Because you reckon the world economy, not just the US, Europe, everyone's saying, hey, this can't go on. So Johnny admits that Taiwan has mountain air bases and hidden missiles. Okay? I actually lived in Taiwan in, in the mid-90s, mid okay? I was in Taipei and I was on a trip one time outside, outside going outside of Taipei. I was driving through a, a, a hill tunnel, you know, on a bus. I looked to the side, each side of the tunnel, and there are um, tunnels dug into that, going seemingly no, nowhere. Those were going to military fortifications that are built all over Taiwan, okay? Because they've dug in, because they've been expecting an attack for 70 years, okay? So he missed the chat, Taiwan can respond, but he doesn't go to how much. So Johnny uh, Harris speculates that Taiwan would be surprised. We have spy satellites, okay? We have commercial satellites that can, that can look at 
that's what's happening with Navy and Navy movements. And this has been happened many times where people say, hey, here's, here's a commercial satellite image, and this is what China's doing in the South China Sea. Okay, everyone's looking at, at that. And the keyhole uh, spy satellite that the US has, which has about like 30 of them, which are basically like the, the Hubble Space Telescope was a converted keyhole uh, satellite technology. Okay, so those, uh, what NASA used is what the US has, except for spy satellites, they have 30 times as many. Okay, so Taiwan would not be surprised. Taiwan would get US intelligence and they would get commercial intelligence. Okay, so any big, any big build up to attack Taiwan would be so freaking obvious. Okay, you know, especially because, you know, we're talking about the naval invasion part, 5,000 ships, you know, building up, um, getting ready to come across, the build it be obvious. And Johnny Harris speculates that the US public will be against the war, right? So, one, we're seeing that the US public is totally supporting um, the US supplying Ukraine with weapons. And again, the financial hit for um, Taiwan getting attacked to the global financial markets would be an you know, utter crash bear market, okay? So the US would have public support to, to stop the financial pain, okay? Another mistake is China's has famously had the one child policy, which mean, and they've had that for 40 years, everyone, all the soldiers in China's army are only child, spoiled only children, okay? And they're newbies to war. China had not gone to a, a major land war since 1979, when they sent about 600,000 troops across the border to teach Vietnam a lesson, where they you know, got in about 10, 20 miles and got beaten back, okay? And lost 30,000 guys. It was just um, you know, the crude you know, guys running across. And that was 1979. So not only have these soldiers not fought a war, their fathers did not fight a war, and maybe their granddad fought in the, in the Vietnam border war. And maybe their great granddad fought in the, the Korean war, which is the last time um, China had any involvement in an in air battle. Okay, that's because they had a thumb MiG pilot. There was a lot of Soviet MiG pilots and, and China, some Chinese MiG pilots, okay? So zero experience. So you're going from zero to World War III, okay? Nothing, no military fighting to World War III with a bunch of spoiled children, okay? That, that's why you, you're saying you're going to do this, pull off this bigger than D-Day thing, okay? Another mistake John makes is he shows little graphics of um, the boats crossing the, the strait, okay? Which is, you know, from, getting from China to Taiwan, you have to cross the open ocean. 90 miles or so up at the top here uh, near Taipei, and then 170 miles down below, okay? But how long does that take? A boat goes to 23 miles per hour if it's uh, one of the big amphibious ships, and then even slower if it's a fishing boat, okay? So five hours to eight hours for the military ships, 10 hours to 16 hours for, the, for some of the commercial ships, okay? Plenty of time to get shot and sunk, okay? So how many ships are we talking about? Johnny talks about hundreds of thousands of troops crossing from China. One, in terms of Marines, they only got 25,000. Okay, yes, they have a like 2 million person ar uh, army combined forces, um, but they only got 25,000 Marines right now. Okay, and they have 78 amphibious troop transports, the, the, the Navy ships that could come onto a beach and then unload people. So 25,000 troops and gear in 78 ships crossing five hours being, being sitting ducks to get, get blown out of the water and not, not reach the beach at all. Okay. And 10,000 more could, could fly over by helicopter if you have a few hundred helicopters trying to come over and take an airfield or something like that. But the Taiwan defenders will outnumber the attackers six to one. In D-Day, which is very difficult for the experienced um, US military soldiers, the allies outnumber the German defenders three to one, okay? So the Taiwan defenders will outnumber the attackers six to one, you know, in, in the, the first wave and then China would have to get more people over in the second and third and whatever, four, fourth ways. So those, you know, few thousand guys that make it across 
what to survive and then keep hoping to get more people across to help them out, okay? And I'm saying that that won't happen, right? Because they're being sunk. So then you, if, if the ships are sunk, they can't go back and get another load of, load of guys, okay? So mistake is that China never, never reaches the beaches. Taiwan has 500 harpoon missiles. Those are the best US anti-ship missiles, okay? And they have 40 new Paladin howitzer artilleries that can shoot four rounds per minute for, for at up to 16 miles of range. So what do those harpoons do? 40 pounds, 40 rounds per minute? 9,600 rounds in an hour, okay, from those 40 barrages. So if you have 5,000 ships that are running across, I can hit them, I'd have howitzers able to, to lay, try and lay two artillery rounds onto each one for every hour. And they got five hours to cross. So ten, they have to survive 10 hits, 10 possible hits, you know, in a five hour crossing, right? Uh, eight hour crossing down to the south, you, you have to survive 16 hits, right? And, and as it's being wheeled down, I got more artillery rounds. I can fire the remaining ships. So it gets worse and worse as they're trying to come across. And that's from the first wave. Okay? And you have not taken that stuff out that's in the mountains, okay? And once you start doing it, the market's crashing. So China would take weeks to move hundreds of thousands of troops from boats that survive going across or using 5,000 slower fishing boats that have to survive artillery hits from, uh, from, China, uh, from Taiwan's artillery um, batteries, okay? So way, way harder than D-Day, way harder. Outnumbered, way worse, you're going across looking at the satellites, looking at you trying to come across, okay? And again, Thomas Semiconductor, okay? All this is going on, the U.S. has to respond because of Thomas Semiconductor. This is way, way harder than D-Day. Germany had three years to prepare for D-Day. Taiwan has had 75 years. And I know and I've seen that they've dug into the mountains and, and all across the beaches. They have all kinds of construction. Toad Mountain is the mountain base for the Air Command. The Military Command Center runs from the Grand Hotel through the Taiwan University. They've dug in all over the island. 75 years waiting, you know, in the early decades waiting for Mao to attack with his army. It never happened, okay? And they're all, also ignoring, people ignoring the military experts and Johnny, ignoring Russia's failure in Ukraine. Russia has failed in, in Ukraine. Okay, and Taiwan is a tougher nut to crack militarily than Ukraine. Okay, here's a little thing, and this is from one of um, um, the sources that um, that Johnny talked about. Is looking at the the topographical map. There's the mountains up here, two thirds mountains, and the mountains overlook the large beach areas. Okay, up here near Taipei. You know, you have a, a large beach where you could come in. There's only certain spots where you can try and land thousands of guys, okay? And only at either end of the island, okay? So those are being spots in the two primary beach spots, one around Tauran and one about Tainan uh, in, in the south, okay? So Tainan would, would, would see you coming and then and blow you out of the water, okay? So what really happens? China, China would try to blockade and markets would crash and the US would immediately respond. Tim Cook called the president, key senators, the US Navy would roll, okay? China would fail to get air security and the US would be sending all kinds of weapons by plane and stuff like that to Taiwan once that starts happening, okay? The mountain defenses would be intact. Naval attack would be a slaughter of sunken ships. No matter how many they send over, the artillery would take it out, the anti-ship missile would take out the big ships. It would, it would be a, a massive bloodbath where, where all those guys would go to the bottom of the ocean. And the other thing is that Taiwan Semiconductor is the key to the world economy. Defending Taiwan is not an option for a US president. Okay, you know, oh, maybe I should not do it while you know, half your economy has stopped and you got no, no new chips. You know, just like you know, the spice must flow in Dune, the, 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 the book of the movie Dune, the chips must flow, just like before oil had to flow. So before it was oil wars, and then now it would be a war for chips. And it's just because wrecking the oil economy wrecks the world economy, wrecking the chip economy wrecks the world economy. Okay, so 
Thailand would be defended. And, and also just the, the problem of China attacking uh, Taiwan militarily, they can't do it. Okay, not enough ships to do it. If they do try and do it, it would be wrecked and they have not got the experience, the pilots or, or the Navy, okay? So all this confusion, get this, you know, the, the military leaders understand it. Not all, look, let me count up how many sh airplanes, they got oh, they 800 versus 400. No, it's, it's what is the situation you're going into? You have all these planes that can be shot down because they got crappy pilots against air defenses that would be intact because they'd be in the mountains. You know, attacking a castle, uh, castle fortification with a massive moat is different than you know one, you know, two guys, you know, two thousand guys attacking one thousand guys in you know an open field. Okay, it's different, and Taiwan is an island fortress. Okay. So those are the big mistakes Johnny Harris and many others make about um, uh, China attacking Taiwan. And we need to get this right because we don't want another thing where some um, dictator thinks that they can actually succeed in something that would actually fail horribly. Okay. And there's no confusion about, oh, will you know, the U.S. defend? Yes, the U.S. would defend. Okay. So Taiwan can defend on its own and the U.S. would defend and China would lose and lose badly. Okay. But in the meantime, once they did it, the world economy would be wrecked, okay? So it should be clear that, that this is how it's gonna go down, okay? China would lose, the US would defend, the world economy wrecked, and it'd be trying to prevent even more wreckage to the world economy, okay? Taiwan is more important to the US than Saudi Arabia, okay? Saudi Arabia only supplies the US a few hundred thousand barrels of oil, and the U.S. can get its own oil. The U.S. now cannot get the the chips. Okay, Intel is, is having Taiwan Semiconductor make their three nanometer chips. Okay, because Intel fell behind. Okay, Taiwan Semiconductor makes the vital thing that runs our information economy. So thanks for listening. Like and subscribe again, and uh, support me on Patreon. Uh, Next big future. Um, look forward to talking to you next time. Bye-bye.